Hi everybody. Um it's me Tracy. Um decided to do another the Saturday show episode while driving home. It's going to take me quite a bit to get there. Um so I figure why not do it this way. So um before I get started, I want to invite everybody to like this video share this turn video, left onto north college avenue and you'll hear directions because again continue on north college avenue for half a mile because i'm driving so just pardon those but like i said it's going to take me a bit to get home so um just pardon those and please like this video um i asked that i meant please subscribe to this video um it's important and like I said, um, I'm 10 away from 100, and I really, really want to get to 100 subscribers. Don't know how I'm going to act when I get to 100, but to have 100 subscribers out there would be really, really nice and really um, a good thing. Um, you know, starting this channel two years ago... I struggled, struggled, struggled to get 30. And so to be this far away, to be this near to 100 is just mind blowing. So if you could just see it in your heart to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I know. Oh, yeah, I want it. And I'm struggling here because I'm trying to... In a quarter mile, turn left onto Kessler Boulevard, East Drive. Yep, and see how those directions are going to keep coming here. But we'll get to a patch where instructions aren't being raveled off. Remember to vote. Election day is Tuesday, November the 8th. If you haven't early voted, please get out and vote. This election... I don't want to go to... It's Take the, most, the next left onto Kessler Boulevard, East Drive. It's the most important election of our lives, but it is an important election. Um, so far, um, like I said, I have, I put off voting. I was going to do it last week, didn't do it last week. I was going to do it the week before, so I'm finally going to vote on Tuesday. So I'm going to get up at about 5 o'clock, go to the polls, vote and then go off to my doctor's appointment um but just vote i don't tell people how to vote but if you watch this show continue on kessler boulevard east drive for three miles yeah see i hate these instructions that are coming but if you know me you know how i'm going to vote um it's no surprise i pretty much think that the Democrats are just going to lose and lose big. I don't think they'll take over the Senate. Matter of fact, I had them losing. I have Warnock losing to Herschel Walker. Although, you know, I don't want to be right about that, but I'm like, Herschel Walker definitely is going to pull this out. And it's unfortunate, but I don't think that people in Georgia care much about his horrible lying record is paying women allegedly to have abortion not even allegedly that's not alleged i mean come on the ladies have receipts i don't think they could care less about that they just want that seat and um and i think the democrats are scared for some reason they're like scared to fight back and I don't understand that at all because if you're representing the people sometimes you have to fight sometimes you have to fight to make a point and to say hey this is where I stand I'm not gonna just stand here and let you tell outright lies about me but the Democrats just regress and they don't do anything and they don't they just it's like they run away from they run away from fights instead of going you know what it is you know what it is it's like they bring 
a knife to a gunfight. That's exactly what they do. They bring knives to gunfights. The Republicans are out here fighting with everything they have. And the Democrats are just like, Ugh, I don't know. I don't get it. We're going to take the high road. Sometimes you got to get low with them. If they so much, you got to throw it right back at them. But um, you can see my car inside here. Um, but yeah, this whole, we go high when they go low. Mm -mm. No, sometimes you got to go low. They throw mud, throw it right back at them. You have to, because if you don't, it's like you're telling your constituents, I'm never going to fight. I'm never going to, I'm never going to try hard. I'm never going to do anything. I'm just going to sit back and take whatever comes at me and that is just not good. Um, so I don't expect this Tuesday's election to be good news for the Democrats. And of course, I'm the person that said that Trump was going to win the election. So um, who knew? I mean, I, I literally thought, oh, you can't beat an incumbent. And to really be honest, Biden didn't really, I think he won like by what, 43,000 votes in but four states or something like that so it was close um but of course we don't use popular votes we use the electoral college which you know whoever was the elect um wins what is it 270 or 272 or whatever number it is but um yeah i i'll tell you what i don't want to hear i don't want to hear when democrats lose the house that it was black voters fault that they didn't win and black people didn't come out and vote. And my question to them, because I know they're going to say it, why? Why should we vote for you? What have you specifically done to benefit the black community? What? I, I see no policies. You couldn't even get voters' rights. Come on, you could not get voters' rights. And you're wanting me to come and vote for you because of, uh, well, Trump is evil. No, you're going to need a little bit more than Trump is evil to get me to vote for you. And I'm sure we're going to hear it Wednesday or Thursday when the counts, when the final count is uh, tallied, how, you know, they didn't win because black people didn't show up and vote and they were disenfranchised and they'll talk two or three seconds about it and then move on to the next issue and then they'll just ignore black issues all over again. And then when they lose the next election, it'll be the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. It's like, cut it out. Are you literally that serious? But they are. And some people, unfortunately, are still going to vote for them. Um, this is the general election. So you don't have to vote on party lines. You can write in people that's that if somebody's a write-in candidate you can always always write their name you don't have to vote for um the lesser of two evils i can't stand that phrase i cannot stand the phrase lesser of two evils because i'm always saying if you have the lesser of two evils when you take one away you still have evil you still at the end of the day you're going to have evil left why not? I, I don't even understand. I don't even understand what people mean by that. If they mean what I think they mean, then that means you're perfectly okay with voting for somebody that you think is evil to prevent the other evil guy from getting in. So in the comment section, explain to me if you can or if you want to. Why do you think people use that? You got to vote for the lesser of two evils. Um, conversation or argument to get people to vote for one of the major parties. I think it's a bad argument. I don't like it. I think it's silly. I think it's crazy. I don't understand why someone um, would use that argument to get people to vote. Because you're literally, I mean, if you think about it, and I said this before, you're literally saying, okay, I'm voting for somebody 
evil, but he's less evil. But then that makes him still or her still evil. It's like what? What are you saying? It's like, do you know what you're saying? And I don't know people who make that. In a quarter there. mile, turn right onto Emerson Way. Yeah, we know. Um, again, you're going to hear instructions on telling me how to get home because um, that's just how annoying GPS can be. But I'm in an area that I don't really know where I'm going. Take the next right onto Emerson Way. Really? Okay. Oh, yep. Okay, 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 okay. got it. Continue on Emerson Way for three miles. But, um, I'll tell you what, though. It's just, you know, you're seeing, I, I again, um, I just turned my GPS off because now I know where I'm going. Um, I, I cannot stand that argument. It just frustrates me. And then you tell them, oh, vote for a third party. That's like, oh, that's a wasted vote. But you just said the other two were garbage or evil. So what makes... I, I literally don't understand voters. I don't. Anybody in the comment section, please. Because I don't understand. Um, it doesn't make sense to me. Again, the argument is just a bad argument. You're saying, okay... Yeah, my guy's evil, but he's not as evil as this guy. Okay, but he's still evil. Um, so, I don't know. I think this election is going to be telling. Um, I said this last night on game night. Get ready for the impeachment of Joe Biden. It's coming. Um, pretty much, Kevin McCarthy has been saying that he's going to quote look into it which means he's going to do it I don't know what they're going to impeach him on exactly um, they can't impeach him on his son because that's not him doing it that's um, his son doing whatever it is that his laptop has on it um, still don't know what they're talking about They st oh my gosh I don't even want to start on the laptop because it's like, um, let's just say he's got something on there, but we don't know. But we've had it in our possession for two years, but we haven't released it. I, I literally don't understand. Um, so, but this look for the impeachment of Joe Biden is going to happen. It won't, I mean, ultimately he won't be removed from office because Democrats will have enough senators um, to stop because you need I think it's 60 to remove a president and they won't get anywhere near that but it's going to happen also I'll tell you what you need to be on the lookout for is a vote which will pass the house it won't pass the senate um, is to make abortion illegal in all 50 states that is so on the way it's it's like the handwriting on the wall. I don't care what Mitch McConnell says about it should be up to the states. He's lying when he says that. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. This is what they've been waiting for. They've been wanting to do it. Um, I know people are saying, oh, it's not popular. Like Republicans have not have done things that are unpopular before. They don't care. They've been itching itching at the seams to make this illegal in all 50 states and of course the evangelicals they'll support them um because life is precious until it's born and then we won't take care of them but hey whatever that's just me um it yeah just look for that um oh and the january 6th commission is going to disappear that's gone um doj won't get enough money um, funded to them because that goes directly through Congress to um, fund the what is this 15 investigations against Trump they have now I'm like come on um, but I feel like with the investigations okay can we stop this we know what he did we know exactly what he did and we're just sitting here and we're playing around and 
It's like nobody will say what needs to be said. It's like, hey, um, unless y'all putting them in prison, just stop. I, I don't want to hear, we got him now. No, you don't. He's not going to prison. He's not going to prison at all. No way, no how. Um, it's not going to happen. I'm not saying he shouldn't be in prison. I'm just saying he's not going to go to the prison. So why waste taxpayers' money? It's like, you could do a whole investigation, but the media with it, we got him. This is it. This is going to sink him. No, it won't. And that's the unfortunate thing. If he runs for president, which, again, I think he will, he easily wins the nomination. He's got that party scared of him. Nobody's going to come to him. Nobody's going to run against him. If they are, if they are, I'm not going to say stupid enough, but if they're crazy enough, well, I don't know if these were crazy. If they think they can run against him, they're mistaken. He's going to come up with some little nifty, some little, little slogan, and his MAGA people will just buy hook, line, and sinker into it, and they'll be like, yes, Trump, whatever you say, Trump whoever you want to win nomination but I'll tell you what if he picks um oh girl from Georgia who child that's that should get everybody on the opposite side motivation to get out and vote that I mean he won't because he I mean he won't and it's like oh we, we've been in talks no you haven't he's not talking to you he doesn't consider you the only reason he's talking to you it's a courtesy. You, you're not on the list. You're not on the short list, the long list, any list. You're not on any list to be considered Vice President Green. So just sit down. It's not going to happen. Um, you don't have what it takes. Um, what else was I going to say on that? In a quarter what? mile, turn left onto East 30th Street. Oh, I thought I turned that off thought I turned that off but yeah Trump runs and he easily easily wins the nomination there's no doubt in my mind that he wins the nomination I don't even see who could run who could turn run? left DeSantis? onto East 30th Street nope the Sanchez is too scared of Trump um and who else you got um Liz Cheney, which she won't get 5%. Mike Pence, who can't get 2%. Um, I, I literally don't know anybody that could challenge Trump for the nomination. I don't think there is anybody. Um, I'm literally trying to think. All the people that ran for the nomination the first time won't run again. Rubio's not going to run again. Cruz isn't going to run again. Lindsey Graham isn't going to run again. I, I I just don't know. I literally don't know where this um, outside person that could challenge Trump, well, not outside, but Republican that could challenge Trump for the nomination, I don't know where they could come from. I literally don't know. Um, 